everybody are uh, sorry for the slight delay uh my hind legs were completely covered with flies uh i'm mr claus to me as you know your acting chairman thank you for coming tonight to another annual meeting of the bloody fingerprints mystery book club let's uh give ourselves a, a big round of applause danger is truly stalking our streets uh, in real life the criminal underworld has really taken over. Uh, we know about this in the fictional realm. Experiencing this in real life is something a bit different. And uh, without further ado, I will bring Chuck Scarborough to the stage. Thank you. Thank you. The impetus for change may come through persons who present you with many upsetting surprises. Translate any new Neptune, ego, desire. Yes, Excuse in the front. Me, this, this isn't a mystery story. This has none of the elements of, of a mystery novel. Okay, next question, please. The man in the back. Converse explanation of the solar aptitude, and also what food she ate. Yeah, what about also, the nose That's an interesting she point you yeah. have, but this is a new kind of mystery novel. You obviously don't know what you're talking about. So I'm gonna go on to chapter four. Well, uh, that was very avant-garde. So, you know, I, I've been thinking a lot about um, windows, you know, doing a lot of research. I entered the train car. It, it was fantastic. Twisted. Cartilage. Cadillac. Connecticut. Abalone. Twisting and buckling and turning. The cauldrons boiling and the cartilage with the weight oil. I can't believe you lost the map. Yeah, but we didn't have bags almost exactly like this and we not have. Yeah, we had plenty bags from Strand and it's all like this. Let's just ask someone for directions. Nah, it's an Look, Partridge, they've taken Oliver, someone involved in the Flying Fox Gang. They're training in an abandoned sewer reservoir, two or three thousand of them developing a new kind of martial arts. They've been responsible for a wave of terror all throughout the city, and now they've got our man. Yes, it'll be lucky if he's still alive. What he loves most is fruit. Maybe we can bait him with that. Why did they want all of them? I don't know. It's a militant subculture, trying to slash a hole in reality. One day it's presumed they'll kill us all. But I don't know why him particularly, unless they were trying to get to you. Well, we 
sacred sacrifice is an idea that just won't go away. I've got an idea of how to get into this kind